possible. Okay. I just found this cool new website where you can watch all the stuff that you can't find on YouTube anymore. Like the Jon Stewart show. Remember when you used to be able to watch that on YouTube? Anyway, I'll put the link over here. Don't tell anybody. Okay, well, don't tell, you know, these guys. YouTube guys. I don't think they want you to know. Hulu, you know, when, when we launched Boxy, um, we're, we were a bit naive about the media market. We're, you know, I guess we still need to get educated, but we launched Hulu as well. So you could um, stream anything from Hulu on, on Boxy. And then in February, uh, for reasons still you know, unclear for us, I mean, we get different explanations, but uh, we were asked by Hulu to remove uh, Hulu from Boxy because the content companies were afraid of the cable companies picking up the phone, or they did pick the phone, or they didn't pick the phone, or whatever. We don't know the exact story. We just know that they asked us to take um, Hulu off of Boxy, because Boxy makes it easy to bring um, internet content to the TV, and that disrupts the existing channel, and that's uh, upsetting to cable, and cable is where the money is. So we went kind of back and forth with Hulu in a very public way. Um, we hope to bring Hulu back as a partner one of these days. Um, I guess we still, we still need to resolve that uh, concern that media companies have with regard to disrupting their channel. But I think what the, really, the real issue that we see in the industry right now is that there's this, um, I think, confusion between the Internet as a distribution vehicle and the Internet as a business model. And the Internet doesn't have any bias towards a business model. It could be a la carte, it could be bundle, it could be advertising based. The internet doesn't care. The internet you know, could replicate the same model that exists today from, for cable if content companies think that that's the best model that they could offer consumers. So, you know, like satellite came and IPTV came and replicated the cable model, I think Apple uh, may do the same, Amazon may do the same, Netflix may do the same. Um, just offer a bundled service. You know, there's rumors about Apple offering it for 30 bucks. I think if that happens, it just opens up the market for more competition and eventually I think it's better for the media companies. Mm -hmm.